When you're born with the ability to travel through time, the first thing you must learn is that you cannot be in more than one place at the same point in time. Special though you may be, you are not immortal. You must give due consideration, not only to when and where you do things, but also what you do while there. The second thing to bear in mind is that your gift, like rage, is meaningless without power. Yet all power on Seol lies in the hands of the Lael Empire. The Inkies have disregarded both principles. They labeled their rebellion an eternal war, though the resistance certainly failed to live up to that title. It all ended with the fall of Mirage Mountain. Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, 4, 76, 12. Beginning descent, do you copy? Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, 4, 76, 12. Beginning descent, do you copy? Copy that, 1200. 4, 76, 12, Cobalt King. Navigation says we're on target above the city. Countergravity anticipated in three, two, one, and it's a go. Cobalt King to the pack, two Marinsteins at 55. I'd rather not have to face them one-on-one. -on -one. Copy that, Cobalt King. 20 and 22. There are two Marinsteins at 55. No, 54. Let's scatter this floating fortress around a little. Bellwether, 22 reporting. 21 and 9 have got my back. Resist me, you'll smash against the brick wall. I'll have to make a contact. Oh, 
Affirmative 22, time capsule active. Let's go. This is how it's done, fellas. All present and accounted for? Back. Close up and report. Cobalt King, airspace in your zone is spick and span. Much obliged, Bellwether. Cobalt King to headquarters. 600, 4, 112, 12. In position. Half near to launch. Stop about 600. 4, 112, 12. The fourth unity. Three bombs killed 664,000 Inkies that day. To the elated cries of nearly two billion citizens of the Empire. But this is also where I lost my son. He was the pilot of the Cobalt King, the bomber that carried the fourth bomb, the one that never dropped. He did the unthinkable, unprecedented in the history of military aviation. He ignored his orders. According to the news, the co-pilot buried a bullet in my son's brain that very instant. An Imperial father would have been shattered to hear of this treason and struck dumb with shame. Me, I'm just a collaborationist father, a secondary citizen who resembles an Imperial father only in grief. I have not torn my clothes from my body in mourning. I have not apologized for the actions of my progeny. I have sworn revenge. <laughs>